Hey, my good friends, Sam Haymart with Test Driven TV. Recently, I've test driven the 2021 Ford Bronco Sport with a 1.5 liter three cylinder turbocharged engine. So, here in this video, we're giving an overview of the engine compartment, all of the components, and all of the maintenance service points. The 1.5 liter turbocharged three cylinder is the base engine under the hood of the 2021 Ford Bronco Sport and similarly the Ford Escape from 2020 forward and is codenamed Dragon. It comes standard with an 8 speed automatic transmission and is rated at 181 horsepower. In the 2021 Ford Bronco Sport we tested, it has an EPA rating of 25 mpg city, 28 mpg highway and 26 mpg combined. The engine employs almost every tool available to be fuel efficient. It has both port fuel injection and direct injection, twin variable cam timing, and cylinder deactivation, which shuts off one of its three cylinders and allows it to run on two when full power isn't needed. Additionally, it has an engine auto start-stop system. Following the airflow, the intake charge starts through a tube running transversely along the top of the radiator to the air filter box on the driver's side. From there, it travels to the rear of the engine and down into the turbocharger. As the all-aluminum engine features an exhaust manifold cast into the head, the turbocharge is bolted directly to it for compact packaging and thermal efficiency. From there, the intake charge travels down to the front to an air-to-air -air intercooler and then back up to a throttle body and composite intake manifold at the front of the engine. There you can see the fuel rail for the three port injectors. The direct fuel injectors and most of their hardware is located below the valve cover. If you look hard enough through all of the components, you can see the three coil packs on top for its spark plugs. Because the engine is so compact, room to work around it is relatively generous when it comes to maintenance. In such, you'll find the oil filler cap and dipstick on top of the engine accessible with a foam sound cover in place. According to the owner's manual, a 5W20 synthetic blend oil is recommended and the total capacity is 5.3 quarts, including the full oil filter. The oil filter itself is accessible from underneath only. Coolant and windshield washer reservoirs are located at the passenger side of the engine compartment in plain sight. Also easily found and accessed is the brake fluid reservoir at the rear driver's side. Below it is a contemporary electric motor booster master cylinder ABS combination unit. The 12 volt battery is easily accessed at the driver's side of the engine compartment and jumping can be done at that point. The main fuse panel for vehicle accessories is located under the glove compartment, not in the engine bay. The air filter box is located just ahead of the battery and easily accessed for filter changes without the use of tools. Pretty straightforward, I'd say, even though there's a lot of technology going on with this engine, getting around and maneuvering in the engine bay is pretty easy since it's so compact. Now, we also have another video on changing the air filter element. You can see that by clicking right there. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel right there. Either way, stay tuned.